Hi folks and welcome back to my World of Tanks replays with the Mighty Jingles. Only this time we're not with the Mighty Jingles. This is actually a replay that uh, one of my clan mates, Grimhorp65, has submitted to me. Um, and I've included it because it just perfectly illustrates what is wrong, in my opinion, with um, Assault, the new game mode introduced in 7.4. Uh, and also it's a pretty good replay. Um, it's a great Type 59 game. So, um, well, what's wrong with Assault? Well, I quite like the encounter game mode. Uh, I think that radically changes the way you play uh, some of those old maps, and in a good way. Uh, and it does, the way they've implemented it, feels kind of balanced. In my opinion, you know, your opinion may vary. But Assault... <sighs> nah. Um, I, I absolutely hate playing Assault, both as Defender and Attacker, on all of the maps that include the game mode. And particularly this one, Prokhorovka. And I'll tell you why. It is not possible to win as the attacker on Prokhorovka unless two things happen. First of all, your team has to coordinate, and the chances of that happening in a random game are slim to none. Secondly, the defenders have to be absolutely useless. Otherwise, the defenders are just going to win by default. Because what tends to happen is there are three choke points. And the attackers all rush to the choke points, and then they sit there. Best case scenario, somebody might poke their nose up, take the shot, decide, actually I didn't want to go over after all. And you just end up with people sitting at these points, popping up one at a time, taking hits, trying to spot the enemy, and failing miserably. And then one person grows a pair of balls and goes over, and usually what happens is... He either stops on the top, where he's silhouetted and a perfect target for every tank destroyer on the hill, because he's being spotted by the defenders who have reinforced the choke points. Or he goes over and nobody follows him, and pretty much the same thing happens. In order for this to succeed, the defenders have to be incompetent and not defend the choke points, which is exactly what's happened here. Sorry guys, one Tiger P just isn't enough. Now as soon as you kill this Tiger P, Hawk isn't going to be able to do it alone. But he doesn't have to do it alone. He goes over, the Lorraine grows a pair, goes over with him. Between the two of them, they kill the Tiger P. Now that the Tiger P is dead, the guys can get into these bushes. Pretty soon, the defenders are going to lose line of sight. Because there's nobody spotting them. And there goes a 3601 on fire, Hawk finishes him off, and that's it. Within a couple of seconds, these guys are going to stop taking incoming fire, because there's nobody spotting them for the tank destroyers on the hills. And that is purely the fault of the defenders who failed to reinforce this choke point. One Tiger P, not enough. If one of those other Tigers had come down, if something fast like the mediums had come down, um, one, maybe two more tanks from the defenders would have been all it would take to turn this into yet another stalemate. If Hawk had gone over, alone, and nobody had backed him up, he would have died, this would have turned into yet another stalemate. And any kind of game mode that requires the enemy team, or the defending team, to be completely incompetent, and for the attackers to require a far higher degree of coordination than you have any right to expect in a random game is just fundamentally broken and shouldn't shouldn't be in the rotation. You know, that's just my opinion. <laughs> uh, but, you know, my opinion is what you come here for. So, I mean, this is an example. I mean, if you take nothing else away from watching this video, aside from the fact that Hawk plays a blinder of a game, Hawk wouldn't have been able to play a blinder of a game if that Lorraine hadn't followed him over the railway line. And because Hawk and the Lorraine went over, they managed to kill the single defender, the trickle became a flood, two guys got over, three guys got over, four guys got over, and now there's six guys over. And this flank is gone. Completely gone. It just was not defended enough. And that's an incompetent defending team. If there had been a competent defending team, Hawk would be dead, 
the Lorraine would be dead and everybody would be taking it turns to peekaboo over the top of those railway line tracks and get shot at by the Yag Tiger 88. As happens every time you play this map. Gets to the stage now. When I hit that random battle button and I get this, this map and this assault mode and I'm attacking, I just want it over with as soon as I possibly can. And I'm always the one, because I'm usually in a fast tank, because I tend to play fast tanks. Oh, good shot. I'm usually the first one over, which means I'm usually the first one to die, because my team usually sit there and watch me, and nobody backs me up, and the defenders annihilate me, and we lose the match. Like clockwork. I mean, you could set your you could set your watch by it. It's so predictable, and you do get games like this. And it, and what I guess what I'm trying to say is it doesn't take a lot. I mean, all it took to turn this into a, 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 a excuse me, all it took to turn this into a solid victory was two people going over that railway line together. Of course, it also took. An incompetent defence. Um, take away one of those factors, and this whole game just degenerates into, into the boring camp fest that it always does. And that's why I hate, absolutely detest, the assault game mode in World of Tanks as it currently stands. Um, what could they do to change it and make it playable? I don't know. Uh, I just don't think it works. Um, and I think the worst example of it is this map, Prokhorovka. Karelia is awful. Um, oh, what are the... Malinovka? Malinovka ain't too bad. I, I, I do actually think it it works reasonably well on Malinovka. But it is still heavily... Uh, heavily in favour of the attackers. Uh, sorry, of the defenders. But if the defenders are incompetent, you can win Malinovka. If they all stay on the hill, well, they're doomed. Um, you know, the defenders have to get people down, certainly on the... I'm trying to figure out which side of the map is which. On the northwestern side of the map, the defenders have to get people into those woods around the church. Um, you can, to a degree, cover the eastern woods from the top of the hill, but you need to get scouts down to spot targets coming up for you. Otherwise, you know, incompetent defense, the attackers can win. But in every single instance of the assault game mode that I've found so far in this game, unless the defenders are completely useless, which is entirely possible in random games. I mean, let's face it, anybody can play this game and anybody does play this game. But unless the defenders are completely useless, the attackers can't win. Um, but nevertheless, you know, Hawk played an excellent game there. Um, he got himself a confederate medal and that was some pretty damn good type 69 gameplay supported by our little friend in the Lorraine over there otherwise that would have failed horribly um, but luckily the defenders were I mean fair play to that Tiger P player he saw what needed doing and he went to do it but there was it just wasn't enough so incompetent defense a rare bit of coordination on an attacking team and it is possible and only under those circumstances is it possible to win while playing the attack on Prokhorovka in Assault. And the sooner they remove the Assault game mode from the game, in my opinion, and, you know, my opinion is what you guys come here for, the better. As always, uh, your comments are welcome. You may disagree. If so, uh, let me know why you disagree. Uh, and let me know what your experiences of this atrocious game mode are. And what do you feel about Encounter? So, uh, anyway, until next time, I have been the Mighty Jingles, except, you know, technically I haven't, I've been Grimhawk, and I'll catch you next time.